The Vice Chairman North Central Zone, Honorable Suleiman Wambai. Keep quiet, though. All other national working committee members, the Director Organization, Lahadikari. The State Chairman of our Great Party, Lahaji Abdullah Ibeno. The immediate past co State Chairman, 
of our great party, Alahaji Hadi Ameto. Lahadi Yakubu Oseni, representing the Central, my speaker, the Eastern House of Assembly, Right Honorable Matthew Kolawele Prince, the Secretary of the State Government, my Chief of Staff, all the State Executive Council members here present, all the State Executive members of our great party here present, all other great leaders of our party here present, the leaders, the women leaders, the youth leaders, all the 25 House of Assembly members from Kogi State here, all the seven House of Representative members from Kogi State here present. We are here. All the party faithful, our supporters, and well wishers, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today, the 10th of July 2019, I am here. My intent form and nomination form. The forthcoming APC gubernatorial primaries of Kogi State that to be held on 29th of August 2019. In order that I flag, I fly the flag of this great party. In order that in the coming November 16, 2019, governorship election that is coming in Kogi State so that our great party can win with landslide. Your Excellency, Your Excellency, this great party under the leadership of our great leader, President Muhammad Buhari, under the leadership of Senator Bola Ahmed Tunubu, the Jagaban of our and an icon of our own time. Under the leadership of His Excellency Comrade Adam Aliu Oshomoni. I am here, Your Excellency, to be my intent and nomination for. Before I drop the mic, today is not a speech making day. For this state, I inherited a state that was largely divided along the thick line. Largely undeveloped with mutual suspicion. Your Excellencies, my great party leaders, I want to assure you that under my stewardship within the three and a half years, Kogi State is united. Good job. We are going to seek the audience and presence of Mr. President to come and commission the various projects we have achieved. I will not be in the social media to make noise. I believe in action because action speaks louder than words. Our politics is local. My great leaders, 
I'm sure by the time you are coming, Mr. President, to come up to commission all the projects across the Victorian district in Kogi State, you will be proud to have me as governor of the I want to assure you that going into this election, it is going to be rancor free, it's going to be peaceful. We are going to welcome everybody. Security is intact. So this stage is well secured. Yes. 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 Security governor. There are several others that would indicate interest. Please allow them free access to pick their phones. Yes. And let's get to the field to seek the nomination. Please, I want to acknowledge and advise all my supporters and the party faithful. Anybody can ascend to the government and to fly our flag. Allow them the space. Because at the end of the day, we are getting bigger and bigger. No one can do it all. We were able to open the space for everybody to come in, and we were able to record two over three senatorial. Victory in Kogi State. The third one is underway. Yes. But I know surely that by the special grace of God, distinguished Senator Smart Ademi will reclaim his mandate. Yes. So that we make it three and over three. We opened this phase and we were able to record seven out of nine House of Representative members in Kogi State. Excellent results. So you know well history. what happened in the general elections that we, we allowed, or maybe somebody claimed to be smart, smarter than smart, <laughs> and <laughs> sold that particular mandate, and for us to lose the only one House of Representative members to PDP, we know that of ABC is coming back to join us, because he's our member. Wow. We went to the drawing board and we returned back in the House of Representatives Assembly elections and we swept the first in history. Politics in Kogi State. Yes. We therefore, in order that we have a resounding victory in the November 16 election. Some of our members that felt otherwise in the last congresses up to the convention, we reached out to them and we ensured that all of them came on board. Your Excellency, I want to assure you that Kogi State is one and united ABC. A big go, a big go agenda. As a result of that, the Hadi and Metwar group, not faction. The Hadi and Metwar group, who felt that they were not well carried along, we approached them, and by the special grace of God, they have all come back together. That is Hadi and Metwar, that is the leader of the other group. You can see him here. He is the middle class state chairman of our great party, APC. The issue of any court case in Kogi State is dead. It's history. History. It's completely dead. The Hardy-led amateur group has withdrawn that case from court. I can tell you of the TV, and he is going to confirm that to you today, Your Excellency. So moving forward, we believe in all the membership of our great party in Kogi State. We believe in all the executive members from what to local government to the state of our party. They were voted by the members of our party and they are representing all the party structures in the state. So Your Excellency, we are ready yeah. And by the special grace of God, we are going to come victorious. Yeah. The rest of the world, that the way we conducted all the congresses from world to the state, 
the way we conducted the primary that gave us all these victories, from assembly to reps to the Senate, the same way we are going to conduct this governorship election. As the leader of the party, I welcome all aspirants. I welcome all aspirants to come and join me and let's deliver this very wonderful, resounding victory in November. You are a master of excellence. You are a master of excellence. You are a master of excellence. You are a The white lion of the state. The only one that will succeed himself come November 29. The man that started to history from the scratch. Members of the National Working Committee, the Tigris, other members of the National Republic, party, party leaders and party members from Hogi State. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the National Secretariat today on behalf of our National Chairman, Comrade Adam Bishirmolin. Having been briefed and having listened to Your Excellency, on behalf of National Chairman, I hereby present to you. Distinguished Senator Jibri Isai Chacho, Distinguished Senator Yakubu Koseni, all the National Assembly members here present, my speaker, and the remaining 55 Assembly members here present, my chairman, Alahaji. Abdullah Bello and my immediate past chairman Alahaji Hadi Ametwo. All my past ladies and gentlemen. Today, the 10th of July 2019, I, Yahaya Bello, the executive governor of Kogi State under the platform of the great party, the All Progressives Congress, 
is here at the state at the national headquarters to pick my intent and nomination forms so that I could contest in the primaries of our great party in Kogi State to be able to fly the flag of the All Progressives Congress and to go ahead and win with landslide the November 16, 2019 Kogi State Governorship election. Basically, that is the reason why I'm here. But permit me to state very briefly that Kogi State All Progressives Congress is not in crisis. Kogi State All Chapter of the All Progressives Congress is united. The All Progressives Congress Kogi State Chapter is a winning party. Our party in Kogi State is welcoming. We welcome everybody on board. All those who felt this is a fertile ground, we welcome everybody to come and join us. Upon assumption of office, I inherited a State House of Assembly that was largely divided and APC was minority. But owing by or to the leadership style of myself, we were able to convince them and we had majority in the House that produced the Speaker and majority positions in the last sixth assembly. Upon assumption of office, we were able to rebuild the party, the All Progressive Congress in the state. And going to the last general election, we were able to de uh, deliver two out of the three senatorial districts, and surely the third one is coming. We were able to deliver seven out of the nine House of uh, Representative members, and in the State House of Assembly elections, it was 100%, 25 over 25. The good people of Kogi State believe in my leadership. The party in Kogi State, all the executives starting from the ward to the local government to the state, and all the members of the All Progressive Congress believe in my leadership. And that was why they gave us that opportunity and they voted for us overwhelmingly. I want to assure you. I want to assure the leaders of our party, starting from President Muhammadu Buhari, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, His Excellency Comrade Adams Ali Oshomole, all the National Working Committee members, all the supporters of our committee, of our party, that under my leadership, and if you give me the opportunity to fly the flag of this great party, we are going to win overwhelmingly. I've been able to put together the state. The state, everybody knows that it used to be largely divided along ethnic line. But today, we look at ourselves as Kogi state citizens first. Before we think of where you come from or the religion you practice. Kogi state used to be a haven for insecurity. Today, I want to assure you that going by the various measures and various other bodies, Kogi State is rated as the second most safest state in the country today. And everybody knows that without security, there can't be any meaningful development. Kogi State is strong. Our party is strong and united. And that is why you can see the state chairman here, Abdullah Bello. You can see Raji Hadi Ameto. This is the leader of the of his own group, not faction. We were never factionated. But his own group who felt aggrieved that they were not carried along properly in the scheme of affairs. But for us to be able to approach this election and win it overwhelmingly, 
and to be able to bring everybody on board. Here we see him today, and I think he's going to speak to you for one minute about the unity that is existing in Kogi State. The issue of Kogi State APC being in court, it has been withdrawn. Anybody that is parading themselves to say that there's a case in court, I think I would rather advise them not to toe the path of criminality. Because you cannot depose to an affidavit in the absence of the right person that should depose to such an affidavit. And Kogi State is not known for criminality. So I urge everybody to please come on board. Anybody that is aspiring to contest in this coming gubernatorial election under the platform of APC should come and join me and let's deliver overwhelmingly in November 2019 election. I thank you all and God bless you. You can ask one or two, no problem. One or two. Okay. Delivering uh, on our mandate and our dividend of democracy to the people of Kogi State are probably those that are living outside Kogi State. If they are actually living in Kogi State, I think. They will, if they can't see, they will feel it. If they can't feel it, they will see it. If they can't see it, they will feel it. So, I won't uh, bog myself because if I have to start to list all that we have achieved in Kogi State, I don't think 24 hours is enough for me. But I can say this, that Kogi State used to be a haven for criminality, kidnapping, armed robbery, Togri and the rest. Those things are becoming things of the past. That is number one. Number two, if you talk of infrastructure, it litters everywhere across the three senatorial districts of Kogi State. I can't mention them. There are investigative uh, journalists that, that visited Kogi State. Their report will still be published. They went and they saw themselves. And uh, in the weeks ahead, Mr. President will be in Kogi State to commission projects and commission projects and commission projects. And again, um, one other very important achievement or what we've been able to deliver for our people is the unity that you see today. Today, you'll never see an Ibrahman accusing an Igalaman. You'll never see an Igalaman accusing an Ibrahman or Okunman. No Okunman will feel marginalized. Issue of marginalization that used to pervade everywhere in Kogi State before is a thing of the past because we are running an all inclusive government. So, anybody that is parading or saying that we did not, that person is a diaspora. Last question and then we'll go to the next question. Yes, Mr. President government, and you're doing everything to support the next level administration. Why is it taking the federal government such a long time to build the federal government road between Lokoja and the other cities next to Lokoja? Thank you very much. Just like I inherited a lot of uh, underdevelopment and uh, paucity of resources, I am not expecting uh, the federal government to be a magician that to take all roads across the country and build them at a time. And I assure you, work is in progress. If you ply between Abuja, is my route every day, Abuja and Lokoja, work is ongoing, even though not at a very fast pace as we expected it. As well as from the Okene Axis, the dualization is on you know, is ongoing right now, even though it's at a very slow pace. So, Mr. President is not a president that select, that uh, do selective treatment. He fathers everybody in the country and he's doing everything possible to make sure that development cuts across the country. So he's doing his best for our, for our state. Uh, we are only urging the contractors. Mr. President is not the contractor. So we're urging the contractors and the supervisors or the supervising ministry to urge the contractors to expedite action and do quality job for us. Thank you.
Okay, no, double door. Please, it's okay. Wait. It's okay. Let's thank you very much, colleagues and the members of His Excellency the Emperor here. We have this flag presented to His Excellency Alaji Ayebelo, Executive Governor of Kogi State, by all progressive members. Just where you are. ABC, Press Commercial Reporters. Space. It's okay like that. It's okay like that. It's okay, it's okay. 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 In Nigeria, but worldwide. <laughs> uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me say it.